It's amazing that she has been in my life for so long. She was a beautiful third grader in my classroom just yesterday. Um, I had the fortune, I was fortunate to be her third grade teacher at Greenville Elementary. And last year, I had an opportunity for her to serve as a student teacher at Greenville Elementary and then a first grade teacher. So I told her the other day that she kind of told my age, but she got older, I did. But I know that she's going to do amazing things because she's always been amazing at the elementary level, through high school, college, and I know beyond. So Carrie, we love you and God bless you. All right. Thank you, Ms. Matt. Hey, Carrie. Um, we just so delightful to have you as our niece. And we just love you to death, me and my wife, my grandson, all the family. We know you're going to do good because we're going to support you 100% because you're the next up and coming generation. And that's what we're supposed to do as um, elders of the community. And we're going to continue to look for your love. And, you know, I, I was talking to her outside earlier and I was telling her, I said, well, now, now I know what the Cash App is all about. So we're putting on that Cash App. <laughs> and uh, we're going to make sure that you get what you need and get off to a good start. We love you. You put me on the cash app now. <laughs> Next person. Thank you, Carrie. Um, on behalf of St. Stephen Elementary, we wish you much, much success. We're going to really, really miss you. We've already had you for just a little while, a short while, but you know what? We would really, really love you. Much success this week. Love you. Thank you so much. Erica and Emmerman. Oh, Ducky, Ducky, Ducky. Just like yesterday, you guys. I remember Doug just following me around Rillyville. I'd be going to her and Debbie, her and Debbie and Carrie's house. Just watching the lady that she has become, the woman that she has become. I'm just so proud of her. Yes. Yeah. It just seems like yesterday, Doug. You just dancing in my room on video. Um, but I just love you, and I'm just so, so proud of you. I really and truly am. It's everything that you're doing right now, I'm not surprised. I saw it and you said you were literally. Quite, you know, honestly, you did it everything. So I just love you and I wish you well. Thank you. Aunt Neary. Then everybody, let's give Ducky a hand at this time. All right, all right. Not only Ducky, but we want to, um, right now, I feel like Doc and, and um, Tracy and, and um, what's Carrie? Carrie. Right here, right here. Carrie. You Doc. It's Carrie. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> we need to give all of them a hand. And Janie, all of them, you know they always say it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah, right. It does take a village to raise a child. And that's what I've seen. And that's what I've been a part of. And I'm just so proud. I'm just so proud of all of them. Because let me tell you, if they did not have high expectations of her, she would not be doing what she's doing. Right. So I thank God for this family. I thank God for um, the vision that they've had. And I do want to say that Ducky is living out my dream. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. So now Ducky is going to be the lawyer and I'm going to see that through her. Yeah. And that's awesome. That is just awesome. I thank God for that. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I sure can. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm proud of her. Ducky, everybody's already said how, how wonderful she is. And this is just the truth. This is the truth. And Ducky, we want you to keep doing what you're doing. Because so many other young kids, they don't even have a vision. Right, they don't, they don't know. If you ask them right now, and they could be 20 years old, what do I want to do? I don't know. And as a guidance counselor, I know because I ask them all the time what they want to do. They don't know what they want to do. So that is a blessing that you know what you want to do. You just keep your focus and keep God first and everything else will fall in place. We love you, Ducky. All right. Decisions that you make in your life. <laughs> but uh, when she started teaching, there were some things that we 
had in common, we could share, even though she had a much lower grade level. And some of the stories she told, I couldn't relate to them because of my grade level, but then there was still this connection that we were able to share. So I'll miss our, our hair talks and our, um, our student talks, but you always said that you wanted to be an attorney and this wasn't the last stop, just a stepping stone. So I'm really proud of you and I wish you the best. All right. Like they see in church, will there be enough? <laughs> um, yeah, as a graduate of Howard Law School, I am particularly the only other one here, right? I'm particularly proud of you. Um, my cousin, my soror, my um, fellow USC alum, and, and now my fellow hustler, as we call him, Howard <laughs> University School of Law. So welcome to the Hustle family. Um, it will challenge you like probably few things you've ever been through, but it's a good challenge and you've got to remember that you're capable. You wouldn't be there unless you were. Don't let anybody else get into your head and make you think that you are less than because you are absolutely capable, but it really is like a boot camp. So just get ready. <laughs> but I know you're capable. I'm, I'm very proud of you and call me for anything. I look forward to visiting you. And um, going back to my alma mater, and I'm just so proud. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Congrats. I, I normally go before my daughter, but um, I'm good to go after her. Um, Mary was giving credit to Janie and Carrie and all, everybody else. I, I give the full credit to her. The granddaddy, Sam. All right. Sam's my favorite out the whole crowd. We, <laughs> Sam, Sam, Sam and I grew up together as brothers. We slept in the same bed for 12 years. And uh, he's like a brother to me. And the grandbaby would be like a granddaughter to me. Um, Carrie, congratulations. Uh, as Jocelyn said, there will be challenges that you can do. Uh, unimag unimaginable challenges. But it's good when a person is prepared to meet those challenges. And most people in here would not really understand those challenges unless you go through it. I understand it. Uh, and I'm the granddaddy lawyer in the whole place. Um, you know, uh, law is a very important thing for to study uh, because all of these people here who praise you today, they'll be asking for advice from you uh, when you get through in three years. So. I'm happy to see you go to Washington, D.C. Hopefully by the time you get settled there, Donald Trump will be on his way out. <laughs> and, uh, you might be able to take over the town, but you will meet people from all over the country and perhaps even all over the world. Howard University is a leading institution for study by leading African-American, predominantly African-American institution for study of the law and it produced many great legal scholars and a hotbed for Thurgood Marshall. It was a place to go when you couldn't go anyplace else. You've chosen wisely and as you can see by all the people here, you will have all the support you need and I'll be there with you along the way. Whenever you need me, call and I call you even if you don't need me. But good luck and congratulations. Yeah, Grandma, Jeannie, I forgot the grandma who over there. Oh, man, I, I missed one last thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was also want to say, uh, Carrie, congratulations. Uh, I was the last valedictorian within the family, and I was, congratulations <laughs> as a fellow valedictorian of C.E. Murray. <laughs> As you know, we are very glad to see all of you here today. Enjoyed everything concerning Duck or Little Carrie. And we know that she will do well. She's a very, I don't, know, I don't want to brag or anything, but she's a nice person. 
So I'm gonna leave it like that. And um, I know this is um, a, a grandmother, and I know she's just waiting to say something. So. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I feel so good. I feel so good. Yes, hallelujah. I have my head up there. God is good. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. You see me running through an open door. I can fly. I can fly. Fly to you. <laughs> Anyone else like to go next? Hmm? I can't talk that one right there. I can't fly. <laughs> sister and um I'm proud of her and uh I know she's gonna do great things you know what I'm saying so yeah that's all I really got to say <laughs> <Don't cry. laughs> would anyone else like to go next your focus is on the things that he has assigned for you to do and that nothing that gets in the way of those tasks or those things and as a family I want you to know we love you and we truly care for you and whatever you need because she does not like to tell you when she needs something people whatever you need whenever you need it 
phone call away, if we gotta take a flight, if we gotta take the bus, if we gotta take a train, if we got to drive, we gonna be there. You understand me? I love you. I love you so much. You don't even know. Firstborn. Firstborn. I love you. You know me? to the blessing of the food, I'm going to say something about my sister. They don't kill me. But, um, uh, <laughs> everybody knew that when you see her, you saw me. And when you see me, you see her. You might see her in my car, me in her car, but we, we rolling together, no matter what. Um, I didn't cry, and I'm not going to cry. I'm going to stay strong for you. Um, but mama know that coming back from USC, your first go around, that was it for me. But, um, uh, <laughs> I love you so much. Um, I don't have to say too much because, you know, me and your car conversations could say enough. You know, daddy get jealous sometimes. <laughs> but um, <laughs> that's just say enough. But um, I'm beyond proud of you. Everybody knows that that's been my close role model to me. Um, the one that I follow through the majority of my life. And she's, everybody talks about well, how good I've done, but I always tell her I could not do it without her for laying the path for me to walk through. So if I couldn't do it, then something wrong. But um, I love you so much. Um, I know you're going to make an impact on Howard. Howard won't make an impact on you. <laughs> um, so do your thing, graduate, and give me the ropes. <laughs> At this time, we're going to move into the blessing of the food by Pastor Mary McClam. My dad, all the cousins that are here, my aunt, my uncles, okay, and my, let me see, oh, my uncle back there, and my little brother, I'm sorry, <laughs> and my friends that came a very long way, and also my cousins, okay, so I want to thank you all for coming out, and I just want you to know, for all the people that said to me, please give me a call, I will be calling. <laughs> <laughs> I will be taking you up on that. Continue praying for me, and hopefully, I'll see you all in three years, and you'll be at my graduation. Yeah. 